Hello, my name is David Newman, and I look after our global high yield franchise at Allianz Global Investors. Today, I'm joined by Damien Guichard, who runs our European private debt business. And I wanted to go and understand some of the differences between the public markets and the private debt markets. The private markets business really grew in 2021 when your arrival rates were actually below zero. With higher interest costs, in fact, your arrival now is above three and a half percent. How are the companies faring as most of the debt is floating rate in your market? That's a very topical question and the question in the market today. I think some asset manager will argue that the companies and the borrowers are edged for the next two to three years, but obviously that's only partially true. And I think we are going to, and we are starting to see some sign of stress in the market. And that would include actually performing companies that were just over levered day one at six times. And they will, they will suffer obviously from that. And you will see, and we are starting to see some stress in sectors such as healthcare and tech that we are perceived to be resilient. So yes, that start to show in the market. Interesting, thank you. So with some of these movements going on in the private debt market, should one expect to see a premium in private debt over public debt in terms of the levels and spreads which you can get as an investor? If you add as a question back in Q3 2022 when the, Eurobo, uh, the uh, European leverage loan index was below 90, I think it would have been difficult to argue for a significant premium private debt versus public. Uh, that being said, I think over the long run, we do believe that there will be a, a premium private debt versus public. And, and the reason for that is really structural. Um, we, we talk about liquidity, but actually, from a borrower standpoint, there are some, or at least we believe that there are structural advantages uh, going private versus public, at least for the mid-market companies. And that will include ad hoc documentation, that will include certainty of execution, uh, no disclosure of your financials to competition, no rating, these type of advantages. I think borrowers are willing to pay up for that. And this is why we think over the long run, we believe that there will be some type of premium versus uh, public.